Today we profile Father Theodore Hesburgh, arguably the greatest university president in American history, aka affectionately known as Father Ted. He's born in 1917, Syracuse, New York. He became a priest of the Congregation of the Holy Cross in 1943. He served as president of the University of Notre Dame for 35 years, 1952 to 1987. Under his term, Notre Dame became co-educational, saw its annual budget rise by a factor of 18 from 10 million to 180 million, endowments rose by a factor of 40 from 9 million to 350 million, Enrollment nearly doubled. He served four popes in his work for the Vatican. He served in over 16 presidential appointments involving him in civil rights, peaceful uses of atomic energy, campus unrest, and in immigration reform. In 1957, he became a charter member of the United States Commission on Civil Rights. And from 1969 to 72, he was its chairman. He helped form the Peace Corps. He was awarded 150 honorary degrees, the most to one person in American history. He became the first individual from post-secondary education to be awarded the Congressional Gold Medal in 2000. If you go to Notre Dame, you see the famous Touchdown Jesus, the library with the 13 story mosaic of Jesus with his hand held, looking out over the football stadium. That museum is named the Theodore Hesburgh Museum. One day I had the great honor of going to Notre Dame and having lunch with Father Ted at the Morris Inn, the only inn on campus. You get treated special when you're having lunch with Father Ted. And afterwards, he took me to the museum. We went up to the top floor, his office, and he showed me some of these honorary degrees. A number of presidents asked him to do phenomenal things. Lyndon Johnson, called him and said, I want to write the civil rights legislation. And I need you as the one of the one of six people on that commission. Richard Nixon, Father Ted, we have to end the Vietnam War. I need you to go to Paris and negotiate between North Vietnam and the United States to end the Vietnam War. Ronald Reagan called him one day. We want to end nuclear proliferation between Russia and America. Father Ted, I need you to do that. And the story about ending nuclear proliferation, he called let's say, Igor, the head Russian negotiator, and our person, Stanley, and he said, let's meet in Geneva. Dinner on a Saturday night, the three of them, and he said, neither one of you are Catholic, but every morning I say Mass. I'm going to say Mass tomorrow morning in my room. You're welcome to come. They came. After Mass, he said, Igor, Stanley, I know what you love for breakfast. It's being ordered. It will be here in a couple minutes. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to figure out how we're going to end nuclear proliferation between our two countries. I'm going to go downstairs, have breakfast, and I'm going to be praying. And when the two of you figure that out, come on down and tell me, what are we going to do? The courage the man had was phenomenal. And the 
audacious things that he did and asked others to do was phenomenal. There's a famous story of that there were three roommates in a little room at Notre Dame. Two Catholic kids and a Jewish kid from Brooklyn. And the Catholic kids were hazing the Jewish kid. And so the Jewish kid one day just left school. Father Ted found out, called the two Catholic kids in. He said, I understand your roommate left school and that you were pretty hard on him. Well, there's a plane that leaves the airport in an hour. Here's a round trip ticket for each of you. There's a cab waiting. I need you to get on that plane, go to New York City and convince him to come back to school. As long as you do, no problem. Everything is forgiven. If you can't convince him, don't you come back to Notre Dame. That was Father Ted. And I asked him, I said, Father, where did you get the courage? Where did you get the chutzpah to do these unbelievable things? His answer, Jack, that's easy. Every morning for 50 years, the first three words I say in the morning and the last three words I say at night are the same. Come, Holy Spirit. That's where I get the courage. Those are the most three powerful words anyone can say, Jack. Phenomenally potent words. He was famous for saying to people, I need you to do this. Or I need your help. He would say that courage is not the absence of fear, but acting in the face of fear. If you're damned if you do, and damned if you don't, then do. The most important thing a father can do for his children is to love their mother. Let me say that again. The most important thing a father can do for his children is to love their mother. He wrote his philosophy of life for me. Dear Jack. He asked for my philosophy of life. Obviously, it grows out of my belief in God and his holy Catholic church. I realize that the center of our Christian lives is to love God and our neighbor. That seems to imply to me that we are willing to do everything we can to help others in this life and to practice faith, hope, and charity as a testimony to our Christian belief. Having said this, the commandments come into our moral lives and give them meaning and direction. I realize how this sounds rather simple. In fact, it is. That's what gives Christianity its true meaning. One might put it entirely differently by saying, simply saying, we must love God with our whole heart, with our whole soul, and our neighbor as ourselves. That's the sum of all the commandments. With cordial best wishes, ever devotedly in Notre Dame, Father Ted Hesburgh. The three most potent words, Jack, are come, Holy Spirit. That's the, that's the story of Father Ted. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, please remember, with God, anything is possible. Spawn.